The revolution will be televised. The revolution will be televised. Today is a very, very big day. I'm here to announce my new cable network revolt. I first like Well, to Diddy tried to announce about his new network, the Revolt TV. It's been here for a couple of years, been doing great numbers, but Diddy just sold everything away. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Diddy has given up all propriety of ownership towards the Revolt TV and he sold it to an anonymous buyer and things just get a little bit brazy. Before we get started, I need you guys to do us one quick favor. You already know what that is. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the notification bell and thank you for rocking out with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Let's get on with the shenanigans. So, Diddy decided to do a Russell Simmons and go to the, I guess, the, the Cayman Islands or some island, not the Cayman Islands, but some particular island where he can't be extradited towards this situation. We're not out here to make him innocent or guilty. We're just looking at the situations of things. It got hot in the kitchen. So Diddy is no longer associated with the Revolt TV in a form of fashion. The company he started in 2013 because it's now completely underneath new ownership tmz has learned that diddy has been planning this and premeditated move he did sources familiar with the deal tell us that diddy sold all of his shares to an interested buyer for an undisclosed amount but we're told the company remains black owned upholding its original connection and dedication to further the culture now what i'm hearing from the sources that we gathered over here at the i smoke hip hop live platform was that the source he sold it to was a friend a billionaire wealthy friend so when things can come away from being a rod and be straight again he can navigate himself as the head on show ceo of the company but latter movements of this ongoing investigation of diddy and his household would lead you to believe that might not be so easy as they come as you see ladies and gentlemen a lot of this thing done got damning and very serious from his seeds being shown with the fisticuffs of handcuffs on them here is just not looking good and the fact that he had to do the move with revolt tv it lets you know how furthermore things are getting more hectic in the kitchen for the once upon a time icon like we said it's unclear what exactly revolt went for when it was all said and done but we're told the new boss wishes to remain anonymous for the time being with that said or sources say they share a deep passion for black culture and they plan on publicly making a former introduction in the coming weeks now diddy had something to say about revolt when he got revolt tv before i continue reading some of the things diddy was a man who knows what he wants and he gets what he wants and i guess he's very influential and when you have that much money people are willing to do anything for you and acquiesce anything towards you so let's fall back and hear what diddy had to say when he got the empire revolt network the revolution will be televised the revolution will be televised Today is a very, very big day. I'm here to announce my new cable network revolt. I first like to say thank you to Comcast, DirecTV, Cablevision, and all the other distributors to come and get down with the get down. Because credibility, the authenticity, and the relationships to make Revolt TV the number one name and home for music on television. Uncensored, not, not destined by the charts and who's pop. Uh, a channel that will give new artists an opportunity to get seen and to get heard. And now, your boy Diddy now has his own cable network. This network will represent you and this network will represent the soul of music that's been missing for a long time. I got a lot of work to do. It's going to be a marathon, not a sprint. But I will not stop till we're on top. Remember, today is the beginning of many announcements. The first announcement, Revolt TV. The revolution will be televised. Well, the take that, take that. No diddy. 
Well, if you guys know, Diddy has disassociated with every single brand he has had, and this was the last one that he has. Now, as you know, Diddy's been inactive with the Revolt Network since stepping down as a chairman last November, and a lot of people, I think, forgot about that part as well. But Diddy can unanimously be known as an entrepreneur, so this was not really something surprising that he'll cut ties with the companies that can kind of bring him down, being that the allegations somewhat seems somewhat to be true so far unless naysayers can come and vindicate diddy now the we're notified that the sale went through this week and we're told it was an amicable deal and you heard diddy himself and everyone was happy about the deal now per our sources revolt ceo davido samuels and the chief brand officer of den and graham he'll remain in full control just to assist the other ownership teams and make sure everything is you know what i'm saying intact with the situation this was not nothing new this was something simply ben was out there on the outskirts of what was going on with diddy what he had and you know as far as his entanglement with this and it's just not looking good now we're told there will be no major changes to the staffing or production for revolt tv employees so i guess that's a good news people ain't being fired for his unprofessionalism now our sources say that over time the new owner will implement their vision but that for the time being things will mostly remain the same as the transition occurs the one thing everyone wondering is this news in any way connected to what's been going on with Diddy. Now, most people are going to tell you and, and sweep it under the rug and say it's not. But in the clear face of things, we know these things have to somewhat be related because Diddy properties were raided Monday. And we've seen how that kind of went down. Just a fiasco of fiascos. And something reminded me even more that diddy probably feels whether he's innocent or not they're coming for him and they're probably gonna just take him down and it's gonna be the same typical things we've seen we've been seeing neighbors speaking out against this we've been seeing a lot of people you know using their credibility to say diddy is not such good but i want people to bear in mind why did it take all these other people so long to speak and say this truth against diddy because waiting this long could now put others at harm because of your willingness to remain quiet and silence but i don't know man i haven't been in this position so i don't want to judge anybody or anyone we just can keep our thoughts and prayers for everybody involved that were the ones hurt by this as far as the people such as diddy he's gonna have to reach to the i guess alleged people who are accusing him and to the most high with that being said i'm your guy dj bless one the best one with that being said man love your family love your kids and definitely stay blessed deuces Trump them. So hit on with t wet <laughs> And now her panties all wet. Came back around, spin the black with sock off fat. DJ bless one.